Welcome to my fragrance So we'll learn together And grow together Oh yeah Oh yeah <laughs> Welcome to my fragrance show. My name is Marshall's Blends Fragrance, and this special blankie is called Logans. <laughs> Today, we are going to do a first impressions video, so let's get right to it. Start with Rihanna's Riri. It launched 2015. The scent is a crisp floral fruit, and it comes in a pink bottle of the new design compared to the rest of the collection. The top notes include accords of mandarin, cassis, rum, and passion fruit, pink fresia, jasmine, orange blossom, and honeysuckle. The base notes are Indonesian sandalwood, skin musk, siam benzoin, and vanilla. So let's check it out. This is a first impression. This is a tester. All of these I ordered from fragrancenet.com. They were priced super awesome. You guys know I only purchase if I can get it for the low low. And then there are other things that I will totally save up for. For the haul, I decided to purchase fragrances that I could get for about $25 or $20 or less. Some of them I was actually able to get for $12. So this is Rihanna's Riri. Okay, the tester model. Ooh, I like, I like the opening. It's gourmand. It's like a floral gourmand, as if somebody made a cake, like a dessert cake. Flang, you know what a flang is? If somebody made a flang and they put flowers on it, that's what it smells like. Burberry Woman, Bur or Burberry London. They say it's also called Burberry London. Burst of fruits, peach, apricot, cool pear, and black currant. The heart is of jasmine with the notes of sandalwood and cedar. The dry down is made of musk and vanilla. This perfume was created by Michael Almerac in 1995. So let's get to it. I remember Burberry because I am a, I was born in the 70s, but I went to school, high school in the 90s and Burberry was all the rage. Let me tell you, like if you have Burberry, Look at the bottle. I forgot to show you Riri's bottle. I'll show you Riri's bottle later too. I think it was like 20 bucks uh, on Fragrance Net. Hmm. Ooh, wow. So the opening is sharp, but that's okay because what happens then is that you get this beautiful, oh my goodness, this very beautiful dry down and it just lasts forever. I, that I can tell you. Oh, it smells so classy. It smells so, so, so classy. So it's really good. I'm really happy with this blind buy. Jessica Simpson's Vintage. Oh my God, that Burberry smells so good. Jessica Simpson's Vintage Bloom. It's a floral fragrance for women and it was launched in 2012. The top notes are lemon and lime, so it's gonna be very citrus. The middle notes are peony and raspberry bloom. The base notes are musk and sandalwood. So let's see what it smells like. The bottle itself is gorgeous. Look at that, I love it. It is very vintage-y, you know? Oh, okay. It's pleasant, it's a pleasant smell. It's a very, very pleasant opening. So it's, it, it's look, it's called vintage, it smells vintage, but it doesn't smell vintage um passe it smells vintage classic so i i like it i like it dolce and gabbana the only one an oriental vanilla fragrance for women uh, it was launched in 2018 the top notes are violet bergamot and orange the middle notes are coffee pear iris orange blossom and rose the base notes are caramel, vanilla, and patchouli. So this sounds like one that I'll probably even like for myself, definitely, because you guys know those notes sound very gourmand, and especially mentioning that coffee and vanilla. Um, you had me at coffee and vanilla, and this is the bottle. Doesn't that bottle look opulent? It's really nice, $30, fragrance net. 
So check it out. Fragrance Net really has great, great prices, okay? I'm gonna spray it here. Give that time to... Ooh, it opens up really beautiful. So I will say that of the four that I do, I'm doing the first impressions, the best opening is the Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. That one is the best opening so far. Oh, Rihanna's fragrance is absolutely wonderful. I give Rihanna's fragrance a solid in 20 out of 10. 20. I give it a 20 out of 10. Because it smells so really, really good. And it probably the dry down is higher. So then we're going to do Burberry. Burberry for women is the same. I give it a 20 out of 10, an immediate 20 out of 10. Let's see Jessica. Jessica gets a 15 out of 10. It's not bad. It's, I like it a lot and I, I would get it and I would let a person smell it out of my uh, collection and if they liked it, they could have it, go for it. And let's let's do the Dolce and Gabbana, the one and the only one. Mm. Dolce and Gabbana registers in my head as a twenty-five out of ten. It registers as a twenty-five out of ten. So there you go. That was my uh, blind buys and haul from FragranceNet.com. I'm really happy that they're all above 10 and they're, they, you know, they're really good. And this is my first time talking about them. Maybe I will do another video where I'll show them off individually. Uh, but for the most part, I smell really good. I gotta tell you that much. Goodbye, my lovely fragrance blenders. I'll see and smell you soon. Ciao. Ci vediamo pronto. <laughs>